Have you ever wondered what kind of planets are in outer space? Will they be the same as the ones we already know? Or will they have completely different and frightening characteristics? What do the planets and strange clouds of cosmic dust smell like? All these questions and more can be solved if you venture with me to discover the great wonders of the universe. Let's travel far and beyond to discover the strangest planets you will find in outer space. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. The Water World Can you imagine that an intelligent and advanced aquatic society like the Atlantics could exist? The planet GJ1214b, it's a planet that has not a single trace of land. The entire planet comprises of oceans that cover the entire surface. This is excellent news since life on Earth began in the oceans. Therefore, where there are oceans, there is life. Well, we really don't know if this planet really has life forms like the Atlanteans or if they are only small microorganisms. But it is an impressive planet all the same. Wouldn't you like to know about the aquatic world of space? The planet that defies the law of physics. In the vast outer space, there is a strange planet that does not work the way Isaac Newton told us the universe works, defying all the laws of physics. 30 billion light years from Earth is the constellation of Leo, in Gliese 436b. This planet is closer to its star than Mercury is to our Sun. Because of this, the temperature of the ocean is 400 degrees Celsius, more than enough to melt ice and evaporate water, right? But something curious about the planet is that its surface is covered with solid ice that is dense and crystalline enough to not melt with heat. Scientists believe that this ice is created by the planet's gravitational force, but there could be even more incredible explanations. The planet of rubies and sapphires Living in the world where it rains precious stones seems like a golden dream for many people. If you love jewelry and precious stones, I invite you to visit the planet HAT P7b, located in the constellation Cygnus, a few thousand light years from our world. In this curious place, at night, ruby and sapphire storms break out and end up scattered all over the planet. Doesn't it sound beautiful? It sounds like something out of a fairy tale. But what really truly rains on the planet is corundum, a mineral composed of alumina and has two variations, exactly rubies and sapphires. I bet you had no idea there was such a magical place like this one. The light-eating planet One of the planets that exists reflect the light of the stars that are in the center of their solar systems. But WASP-12b is a very strange exception to this rule. The exoplanet, instead of reflecting light, absorbs the light and feeds on it. And it has a very unique shape, different from the spherical shape of most celestial bodies, being more like an egg than a circle. The planet is twice the size of Jupiter. It is extremely hot, with temperatures of more than 8,000 degrees Celsius. And being so close to its star, it has one side that always receives light and the other one that does not. Furthermore, the planet only has another 10 million years to live, since it was diagnosed with the terrific disease of being slowly consumed by its own star. The Pink Planet A planet worthy of a Barbie doll, GJ504b, is a planet located in the constellation of Virgo and orbiting its star at a distance that is nine times greater than the distance between Jupiter and our Sun. We call this planet a gas giant because its surface is full of gas clouds. The name is self-explanatory. Even though it is called a giant, the planet is just a newly formed baby that emits a lot of heat and therefore reflects a beautiful pink color. Although it looks adorable, the planet is not suitable for anyone to inhabit it, not even the greatest lovers of pink. Of raspberries and rum Have you ever thought about tasting the stars or smelling the Milky Way? 
is not as strange as you might think. Many children once thought the moon was made of cheese and were dying to taste it. Now, with the great advances in astronomy, we know that space tastes like raspberries and smell like rum. Well, not all space, specifically a cloud of cosmic dust called Sagittarius B2, and it's composed of billions of gallons of ethyl formate, which gives them the flavor of raspberries and the characteristics that smell of rum. Who would have thought that a cloud of cosmic dust will be the perfect combination for a cocktail? The Planet of Hell Made Gliese 581c, the planet that could be home to humanity in a few hundred or perhaps thousands of years. But this doesn't mean it is not full of dangers and features that aren't fit for our survival. This fascinating planet orbits a dwarf star that does not emit half of the light of our sun. Therefore, the planet is much closer to the star and this makes that one side is always illuminated while the other one is not. Besides, it gives the planet a red color that makes it look like hell. If you want to sunbathe on the lit side, your face might melt. But if you decide to go to the dark side, you will freeze. There is only one small quadrant between the two sides that can be inhabited. Let's hope that the number of humans in the future will find a way to inhabit that little tiny space. What would happen if the planets replace our moon? As humans, we're used to seeing the moon illuminating our nights with a beautiful glow, and we know that this satellite affects the tides of the ocean and plays a large part in the life cycle of animals and humans. So have you ever wondered what will happen if the planets of our solar system became our new moons? With planets like Mercury, Venus, or Mars, we will not notice a big difference in size. But planets like Uranus or Neptune will look much bigger than the moon, and with planets like Jupiter and, of course, Saturn being at the same distance as our moon, we will end up becoming one of their moons with volcanic soils and no signs of life. I think I speak for all of humanity when I said that we are better off leaving the moon and all the planets in their place. The Inhabited Earth Just like the song from the 90s when they talked about a completely blue world with blue trees and blue cars and blue people, Imagine living in a world where the trees, the environment, and everything you see is purple. There's a theory that says that when life on Earth only consisted of single-celled organisms, they had a purple hue that could be seen from outer space. So there were no purple trees or animals, unfortunately. The most fascinating part of this theory is that if astronomers find a distant planet with purple tones, it could be a planet that is experiencing the beginning of life. So take your telescope and don't hesitate to call NASA when you find a purple planet. The planet with the giant ring system Saturn is perhaps the most unique and distinguishable planet of our solar system because of its beautiful rings. But it is not the only planet that has a ring system. Jupiter, Neptune, and Uranus also have rings, but they're not as big and visible as those of Saturn. Still, there is a planet outside of our solar system called J1407b that beats Saturn's with a ring system that is 200 times bigger than Saturn's and it has more than 30 rings. If this planet were at the same distance as Saturn from Earth, we could see its rings in the night sky and much larger than the full moon. The nights will be more interesting. If Mercury and Earth collided Do you know what happens when one planet collides with another? Some astronomers have discovered that when there is a collision between two planets, a disk of cosmic dust forms around the affected one. An interplanetary collision could also mean a change in a planet's ecosystem, as indicated by the theory that billions of years ago, a planet the size of Mercury collided with Earth and created carbon. This theory says that the ancient planet was rich in carbon and had a core 
all of silicon or sulfur that, when it hit the Earth, was absorbed by it and mixed with the carbon to eventually create life. Super Earth 55 Cancri E is a planet that is outside of our solar system, more than 40 million light years from Earth, and is considered a Super Earth a name that belongs to those planets that are larger than Earth, but not larger than the giants of the solar system such as Uranus, Neptune, Saturn, and Jupiter. In 2016, NASA managed to identify the atmosphere of these super-Earth with the Hubble Space Telescope, finding hydrogen and helium on the planet's surface. Super-Earths are the most common planets in our galaxy. In addition, 55 Cancri E is very close to its star, being too hot to have life and completing an orbit in only 18 hours. The planet looks dark maroon with parts that seem to be made of pure fire because of its reddish, yellow and orange tones. What do you think of the Super Earth? Do you think you will have a very productive day? I don't think 18 hours is enough. As we explore today, many extraordinary things exist in our galaxy and far beyond. Strange and uninhabitable planets. Planets that in the future could become the new Earth. Planets that defy everything we know. Cosmic dusts and many other things that smell delicious. Space is so vast that there are many things out there that our scientists have not been able to discover. Imagine what kind of strange new worlds we will discover in the next decades and even more in centuries. Thank you so much for going on a search with me. I hope you had fun exploring the undiscovered worlds and see you in the next video. Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all of our new videos.